love flowers. Sorry, Amy. Yes. I have to have a picture of this. Uh, I want to see a butterfly. Okay. Don't you know that we will be able to help our children to better understand the things that they want to understand, just like the scenario. They really want and they are really eager to know how does the butterfly will develop from its cocoon. So this time, we will help them to learn more about it. Let's go! Hi kids! Hi mom! What are you doing here? We're looking for this cocoon and we're waiting for the butterfly to come out. Oh, do you want to, to know how the butterfly will come out from the yes. cocoon? Yes. In just one minute? Oh, really? Yes! I have a video here. Do you wanna yeah. do you wanna watch from the video? Uh, let's see. Yes. Okay, this is how the butterfly will come up from the cocoon. Really? Wow! wow. Amazing! You see, using video as medium in the classroom will help us to teach our tr children and to help them better understand the things around them. As we have seen in the scenario, the children were really waiting for the time that the butterfly will come up from its cocoon. But with the use of video, we were able to show them the reality in just one minute. In the video, we will be able to let the children experience the real world that they cannot experience in the classroom. We can bring them to the sky, showing them the clouds through the video. We can bring them to the space, showing them the sun, the moon, the stars, 
and everything that is in space. We can bring them deep in the water, the sea, the fish, the corals and anything that is in the water. With the video, we'll be able to let the children or the kids or the students to experience the world that is impossible to experience. Video transcends time and space.